who can say in the case of Vicky and, and countless other in Israel and in America and around the world, who can say that the governments of this world are doing all that they can to prevent terrorism and that their hands have not shed this blood? The fact that the memorial is put in a place that's off to the side and not where she was actually slain is a sign of the denial that continues to be in the world about terrorism. They just want to push it to the side and forget about it and make it that it is, it is something that is uh, getting back to life as normal and, and, that, and, and, and that life goes on. Well, life doesn't go on and things cannot go down and go back to normal. Every victim like Vicky has to be atoned uh, and, and her life has to be brought to, for justice and for vengeance and for the awareness. It should be put in the front of everybody's of sight, of anyone who enters the terminal where she worked, that they should remember to be on guard for terrorism, to do everything in their power to, uh, to us to stop it and to fight against it. Without fighting against evil in this world and trying to eradicate it, evil is not here to coexist with us. Evil will conquer us. We have to fight back. The rabbis also say that when God gave the Torah on Mount Sinai, all the mountains came and they said, let us have the honor of giving the Torah on our peaks. And then Hashem said, no. We're going to have a small mountain, Sinai, and I have it for a very good reason. I want to teach humility to the Jewish people, a nivut, so that they can uh, properly accept the Torah with the right attitude, without, without ego and without gaiva. And the, and the, the Gera Rebbe of a few generations ago asked the question, if God wanted to teach us to be humble, why did he not give the Torah in a valley? There's nothing lower than a valley. And the answer of the Ger Rebbe was there are two reasons why they, the, the message that Hashem wanted to teach us two lessons. One is, not be, one is to be humble and one is not to be too humble. The Jewish people for too long have let the whole world ride on our backs and, and, and been afraid to raise our heads to fight against the scourge of Jew hatred and anti-Semitism in the world. And it follows us wherever we go in this long and bitter exile. And to this we have to say we have to apply truth and we have to apply justice. There is no forgetting, there is no forgiving, and we will from this time forward renew each year on the memorial new courage and new confidence that we can bring justice and and nekama and nechama to the families of and for all of Kla Yisrael. I'm Yisrael Chai, Odavinu Chai.